Okay, back home again. Uh, good to have back-to-back -back weeks at home. Uh, got a great win last week and looking to carry that momentum and uh, got a got a quality opponent in FIU, big conference game, and I'll be excited to play. With that said, questions? It's Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Um, the weekly first question, do you have any injury updates from Saturday's game? I was actually going to bring it up, but I get – I like so much that you, that's your first question. So I, I debated on whether to say it or not, but I'd rather you just bring it up. But uh, uh, nothing at this point. Um, you know, we'll get out there on Tuesday and, and see how everybody's doing. I had a couple of bumps and bruises, but we should have everybody that we've been playing with. Uh, Coach shared with the Daily News again, um, you know, obviously a win is a good thing no matter what, um, but looking back on the film from Saturday, what impressed you the most about um, the performance and, and gives you the best, I guess, feeling moving into the rest of the season now? Just really proud of the team and how hard they fight, and, um, you know, and really everybody, you know, and we're, we're led by our defense and they're, and they're doing a great job of, of – uh, Obviously, you know, you hold an opponent to a touchdown, that's outstanding. Um, but proud of how everybody's just battling, you know, and hopefully you see that out on the field. And it may not, may not always have success, but, you know, we're, we're battling as hard as we can and, and we believe in each other and we fight for each other. And so it was good to get one of those close wins edged out and hopefully that will give us even more momentum going into this week. And, and I'd like to see us, you know, go play good team football. Let's play good on all three phases. You know, we play good defensively. You, you play at times. We have some drives offensively, you know. It was good to see John Haggerty, you know, uh, last week get back to his normal self. So really hoping we can put all three together, play good team football this week. Coach, this is uh, Nate Heather from the College Heights Herald. So on that note, talking about the uh, weekend's performance, who do you kind of see as someone to pay attention to when you guys play FIU? Because they've only played four games, but I'm curious as to who you think may be their biggest weapon this Saturday. Well, I think they're good in the skill. Um, you know, they got some speed in the receiver position. Um, they're big up front. They're front four in their D-line. I think, you know, they get a good push up there, so it'll be a good challenge for offensive line. Um, they're a big defense, you know. I mean, they, they got talent. They can run on defense. Um, you know, I know they've they've haven't had the success that they've wanted, and a lot of that's because of the COVID issues. And you know, I, I can't imagine you know where they've preparing and then they can't play. Games are postponed, games are canceled. So you know, it's hard to find a rhythm. But um, you know, I, I think they're a very capable football team. I mean, they they have pieces. They um, they have good talent. Um, you know, and and so we need to play a really really good football game to get a win. Shared with the Daily News, um, the pass defense has been uh, very good lately, you know, just 67 yards on Saturday uh, for you guys. Um, you know, what's been the biggest key in that and what challenges does FIU present in uh, that area of the game? Well, I, you know, first of all, we've been outstanding all year in our pass coverage. Coach White's done an unbelievable job there. Our corners have been exceptional. You know, Deontay Ruffin, Gray, you know, Bradshaw's done a nice job. Beanie Bishop's done a good – I mean, we just really roll those guys and, and uh, they've been outstanding, you know. Um, I think, you know, for them offensively, you know, they've played two quarterbacks. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're both very capable. They, I think, you know, they, they can score, you know. I mean, I know they didn't do necessarily put a bunch of points up uh, against FAU, but they found a way to score 20, I think, you know. So, um, you know, we're going to have to go out there offensively, and I fully anticipate, you know, them coming in and being able to score, and we're going to have to go match that, you know. Now, you know, I'm very proud of our defense, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, I think our defense is very capable of keeping it a low-scoring game. Um, but I do think FIU gives you a little bit more of a challenge just because, you know, the passers are probably a better, better thrower. They got some good skill, um, you know, and, and it's, they just hadn't played a lot of football. And, 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 again, it's been off and on. So, you know, hopefully we, we play all good, uh, good in all three phases and put it all together and, and get that W again. Uh, Coach, 
shared with the Daily News, you know, last home game of the season coming up. Uh, before the season, the NCAA um, announced that blanket waiver, the extra year of eligibility. Has that been discussed with your guys or anybody taking advantage of that? Do you know? Yeah, what? We, we've started having those conversations. Um, you know, I've had some good feedback. You know, I don't want to get into depth about who is and who isn't coming back, but we've had good feedback. And we've been pretty honest with the guys, you know, about, hey, we love all y'all, you know, all our seniors, guys that have played for us, love to have you back, but fully understand, you know, some guys have played a lot of football, you know, five, six years of football. I mean, they're, they're done, you know. Uh, some guys have aspirations to go to the next level, you know, and uh, this one-time transfer rule, that, that'll be interesting. We'll see if we lose anybody to another school, you know. But that's just the world we live in, and we're pretty open and honest about it. And I think our players really like it here. I think they, they enjoy playing here. So hopefully we'll be able to retain a good portion of those guys. We'll see. But you'll have the, the normal blanket different reasons why a guy may not decide to come back. But we'll, we'll get into more detail into that once the season's over. You know, to kind of go off of that, I know you've been here before, um, both as a head coach and as an assistant, you know, leading up to this last home game for these guys that it might be their last time playing here, do you notice anything different in the preparation from those guys? No, I'll see it out there tomorrow when we practice. Um, but I would assume that, you know, they're going to enjoy their last week if this, if this is their last week. And, uh, um, you know. One thing about players, every day is the same. You know, Tuesday's a Tuesday, a Wednesday's a Wednesday, you know, and you don't know any better. You, you go as hard as you can and, and you enjoy every moment of it. Uh, you know, I'll, I'm going to enjoy this uh, this week too, you know, knowing that for some of our guys it will probably be their last time at, at home. Uh, so, you know, it, it'll be a, a special week. And, and, I, and it makes it more special and, and, and gets you even more motivated to try to get a win, you know, for, for those guys that will be hanging it up eventually. Coach, this is Nick again. Uh, just out of curiosity, you know, the game ends with 40 seconds. Is that something that you've kind of seen before with the uh, tensions rising or not? Because that seemed kind of uh, unusual there. Yeah, I've never been a part of it. I've seen it, but I've never been a part of it. Um, probably was a good call to be honest with you. It was it was getting tension for getting pretty hot, and so I think they made a good call. You know, we were actually talking to our offense about, hey, don't don't do anything when you take a knee, and you know you shouldn't have to have those conversations. You know, so um, I thought they made a good a good call and just saying, okay, it's over. Coach Tyler Mansfield, Rivals dot com. I guess getting that win last week, this week you're back at home for a chance for back to back. Hasn't happened this year yet, but to have those back-to-back -back wins maybe under your belt, how big would that be going to your final home game later on? It would – well, getting back-to-back -back with, with – you know, that that's obviously always the goal. Um, it gives you even more momentum leading into your last game going to Charlotte. Um, you know, so it, it's an important game. It really is. And, um, you know, so there's a ton to play for. You know, again, we want to we want to get that back-to-back -back win. You got seniors that – senior night you want to get that win for them and, and have that lasting memory of their last game at home so there'll be a lot of motivation out there to go get that win 